Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the exhibition. I am the Scarlet Seeker, and this is Guard Duty. So, I suppose you'll have to uh, excuse the perspective stretch. I think it's going hard in this old school styling that you can already see, but uh, I mean, we can, yeah, look, we don't have a whole lot of uh, <laughs> options there, but that's okay. You know, it adds to the nostalgia, obviously an artistic choice. So guard duty, looks like a really pretty, beautifully, artistically done point and click. As we've discussed, another game I've been playing recently, Tales of the Neon Sea, not to steal guard duty's light here, but um, I have a love-hate relationship with point and clicks, I just don't have the nostalgia that most seem to, like I would argue that the genre is aimed at, right? I am of that time period, but I don't remember them super fondly because uh, traditionally I have a lot of gripes with the, the genre. I think it's kind of broken and outdated, but I'm not trying to take that away from people. What I can't deny is the beautiful art of some of these modern versions. It just looks so good. I don't want to turn into some master chef wanker that uh, gets up himself about, oh, it looks so great and it's artistic, but like, I can't help but give them a go just in case I might actually you know, enjoy them a little bit more. So, like I said, I have gripes with the gameplay, but I think these are beautiful little indie games. And if anything, I should use my platform, which is growing fairly quickly, um, to at least put this out there. So if you already knew about this game, you probably already got it. But if not, maybe I'm showing you something you've never seen before. And and ultimately, that's that's a real win. I mean, occasionally they grab me. Oh, look at this, though. Oh. Initiation sequence initiated. Time until human extinction in seconds. When will the suffering end? Oh. This world was once a language of love and Which harmony. <laughs> Did you really believe that? This is so good. Cool. You know, so I'd rather not go back. <laughs> this is far too much fun. Right. Yes. What is going on? Turn it off. This voice acting is top notch. Oh man. Oh, wait. Oh. This this is unreal. I am gonna I'm gonna enjoy this. I know. A thousand years earlier, holy heck. Okay, it's quite a flashback. Kingdom of Wrinklewood? This is amazing. Is it the same dude? Happy birthday to me. <laughs> birthday to me. This guy knows how to party, man. Oh, it's Luke Skywalker rocking up. That's so good. You know what? Never mind. I got all I need right here in the kingdom. A l -l lovely princess Ferriman. You can look at her all day. She's pretty as a pound, she is. <laughs> oh, oh my god. So that's a uh, young princess of heritage. Royal blood, I presume. Oh, okay. Just about as royal as they get. Interesting. Interesting indeed. Uh, if you don't mind, it's been a long night. Oh, right. You're uh, my manners. Uh, no, no problem, sir. Uh, let me get the gate. I mean, we'll cut you some slack. It is your birthday. Uh, don't be like that. It's his birthday. Man, I didn't know what I was expecting going into this, but I'm so in. The morning after. Just worried. I don't want my mouse to accidentally come off. You can see it. Oi, catching Tomper. on the sides. Get your ass to the throne room. Pronto. <laughs> Pronto. Oh, look at this dude. Oh, how much did I drink last night? 
Oh, it I'm... feels like my brain's trying to escape through me eye sockets. <laughs> I wonder what the king wants with me. Oh, man. All right. Use left mouse click to move Tondbert. Right click will examine your surroundings. Click an item of interest to make Tondbert interact. Okay. This could come in handy. Oh, well, let's take it then. Left click on an item to pick it up. What a stud. That's a sus animation. Okay. It's added to his personal inventory, the infinity pouch. You can access his inventory by clicking the pouch icon in the top right hand corner of the screen. Wonderful. Let's do that. Tonbert's infinity pouch makes carrying items easy. Anything Tonbert picks up will be stored here. You're carrying four items. Right click on an item to examine it or left click to use it. What's on my to-do list? Okay, very good. Uh, what about that? I'll leave it where it is. Do you have anything to say dusty. about? Yeah, it is a bit dusty. What's going on with the window, mate? Oh, well, we can see. A series of rivers run down from the northern region. Oh, okay. They call it the Serpent's Kiss due to its winding banks. This accent. I could listen to this dude read scar. instructions all day. There are some ominous looking mountains north of there. About, what about that? The Elder Scar, or the Gap as some call it. A true relic of the past. They say the Scar formed after a great battle. A fight between gods and men. Oh, it's wow. lucky, because apart from that, Wrinkle was the only thing standing between the Southern Kingdoms and them nasties that lurk up north. Oh, no good. No good at all. Okay, well... Yeah, the Elder Scar. Okay, okay, I think we've covered most of it. Uh, I press here, probably. Uh, what else? What have we got? A well, candle? you can't reach it. Besides, I've got a day or two before it needs replacing. Okay. There's still a good bit of life left. In Lucky, because they're a pain in the ass. <laughs> pain in the ass, are they? Ah, wobble squats. It's just out of my reach. <laughs> what does wobble squats mean? Oh, mysterious book. I wonder what secrets you hold. I'm well into this. Hold on. There's nothing in there. Someone's nicked my uniform. Mate, you've stuffed up. Grab the darts. I'll just take one. Wouldn't want to be greedy. <laughs> I've already got one, so I'll leave the others be. Fair enough. I can't clean them up yet. I'm saving up to build a pyramid. <laughs> yes. Wardrobe's empty. Tondvert. Oh, can I look at myself? I can't. Okay. Selling this set sure was a rookie mistake. I found it at the pawn shop for half a shilling. I would take it, but I'm allergic to paper. God, I'm Yeah, I'm not I think I've surprised. read that enough. I'll leave it there. Hey, Dr. Jones, no time for love. Very funny short round. They've been there for weeks. I'd hate to disturb him now. Uh, okay, so I think we've covered just about anything. This is doing all right so far. Like I said, I, I kind of hate pixel hunts. Someone's locked me in. Uh, doesn't make any sense. I lost that key years ago. How the hell am I going to get out of here now? So someone's stolen your identity, mate. Uh, okay. Open the infinity pouch. Can I just press I or something? No, i got to click on it. Super old school. Oh, he made a note of that. Hang on. Find a way into the castle. Where is my uniform? Oh my god. Here's my pencil. Great for writing stuff down. Rope. Seems strong enough. One quid. Well, let's use the Simpler rope on the window. Life. Money doesn't solve every problem. This. Be oh, I accidentally grabbed the money. No, no. I think I'd be better off if I tied it to something first. Oh, good. Good hint, actually. Oh, even better. Just do it for me. That'll do nicely. Just nice. don't tell health and safety. <laughs> no, no, we'll be right. How do I? There we go. What a stud. No, no, no. Oh. Mm. No, no, no. That's one way to... Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Nailed it. Yeah. Oh, my God. No one's going to believe it's me. The subtitles to his subtitles. Wait, 
what's what's that bird doing? Okay. You can make candy sitting in. Okay. Um <laughs> This is so good. We won't need to. <laughs> God, I can just imagine being in the voice actor's booth for this. Dungeon access ladder. <laughs> I like how like non-phased he is about how he's messed up his head is. Oh, okay, so that's up to his tower, okay. Oh, Can we, uh... Monkey sign. Oh, okay, cool. Oi, hands off! It's Bub, he's alright sometimes. <laughs> Hey Knuckles, look who the cat dragged in. Who's this? A complete stranger? In the castle of all places? Filthy street urchin lurking about in the castle. <laughs> Pond dirt. Dong squirt. <laughs> Dong squirt. Never heard of him. Dusty, please escort Mr. Longskirt out of the castle. He's making the place stink of booze. Oh, look at this unit. <laughs> Say this, Shorty. I can smell the air on you from here. Sorry, tiny man. Oh, he seems like a sweetheart. Ah, oh, bullets. Geez, things aren't going well for me. I'll never be taken seriously looking like this. I can find me armor. Boot. Let's go here. Can I put it on? Not so fast, I still need my other boot and trousers. Okay. Uh, these guys have much to say. And where do you think you're going? Yeah, yeah. bugger off, big ears. Big oh. ears? You know, like an elephant. <laughs> and why are you comparing this poor little lad to an elephant? Yeah. It's like the elephant man, don't he? I'm not sure I follow. <laughs> Alright, bugger off, bubble face. Yeah, be it blubber mouth. <laughs> oh god, he sounds hilarious. <laughs> oh my god. What is going on? Okay, cool. Uh let's go down this way then. Oh, it's a good time to play games. I need to find my armor pronto and never go back into the castle. Oh, okay, we're in like an overworld map sort of thing. Okay, so that's the castle there. What's this glinting around the back? What is that? I need to find the rest of my armor. Chances are it's still in the town gates. I should start looking there. That's a good idea, actually. Oh, you're just going to take me there without asking? Okay, good. Oh, dear God of all that is pretty! What's happened to you? Oh, right. Look, I got to break it to you. You're not making any sense. <laughs> Go on then. What was it? Hornets? Nettles? Working girl? <laughs> Don't answer that. Save me the spit shower. <laughs> you know, a pinch of juicer roots or sort of that. Might oh, no even way. have some down at the market. <laughs> Look, do you need me to write it down for you? I can see spoken word is not exactly your forte right now. Give oh me something God, to yes. write on and I'll draw you a picture. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's the ticket. Pass it here. Nice. There you go. Show that to the fruit merchant at the market. He'll know exactly what you mean. Medusa root priority fix my face. <laughs> he 
This game is legitimately funny. Uh, and yeah, uh, I'm surprised. Nothing That's against not the game, you. just in this day and age. It's doing some cheeky jokes that a lot of people don't have the guts to do, sadly. All our storage chests are made of reinforced wrinkle wood. Okay. So who's this bloke? Barrack. Barrack's a good guy. He picks up after my shift. Sometimes we drink bourbon and watch the sunrise. Aww. Aww. Barrack seems sweet. <laughs> Alright, well let's go check out this market. That looks like the market to me. Yep. Yeah, you. Come here. Let me take a look at you. <laughs> <laughs> His voices, man. Hello, handsome. Remember me? Oh, no. Did I hook up with this chick? Oh, my God. I prop. Oh. <laughs> oh, she's got my pants. Not before you give old Gertie a kiss. Oh, Come no. Here. God. <laughs> it seems Gertrude has Tonbert's trousers. She's not giving up easily and demands a kiss for their safe return. Tonbert refuses to deliver the kiss himself, but maybe we can find a substitute. That <laughs> says no dancing in the fountain. <laughs> Oh, there's my other boot. That's fine. Gertie's... Oh, we'll come back to you, Gertie. Alright. Fruit stall. Have... Whoa there, Echo Man. That's far enough. Ugh. Don't mind him. His bark is worse than his bite. But if you ain't got the coin in your past, start walking. Look, I'm pretty bad way. I need Medusa Root. I need Medusa Root. Stat. I've got to admit. You're kind of adorable. I can't imagine your half is fun normally. <laughs> Would you look at that? I think he's lost the plot, Barry. Sure uh, looks like it. This is absolutely fantastic. Still open? We never close. <laughs> Yay. Here at Fruit Bacel, we pride ourselves on providing the finest range of fresh fruit. <laughs> Exotic spices and herbal remedies from across the land. Nowhere else will you find such rare. Man, this is legitimately great fun. Vine fruit, stodge more virgin rose root, or even the highly sought after stale valley beef fruit. Although our reputation lies in selling the finest quality imports, we also offer a value range catering to our lesser fortunate customers. Often misshapen, soured, or slightly fungal, our value range of fruit and spices offer the same medical benefits of fresh goods, only with the occasional bouts of vomit. Yeah, nice. Um, I've got some coin. You know, we can't sell spice to miners. <laughs> oh, ain't that cute? The lad's a bit slow. <laughs> I think he's got something wrong with his face. <laughs> <laughs> I think. I thought that was one of them birthmarks. Nah, birthmarks don't leak like that. Oh. Right, you is. Sorry about that. You got any money, lad? <laughs> Can't understand the word he's saying. Can you, Barry? Just give him a barge and he'll leave us alone. What are the furry ones? <laughs> what do I look like? A bloody charity? Yeah, oh, exactly. Lad, could do with a break. <laughs> yes. Tells you what, lad. Because I'm an honest fruit vendor, and I pride myself on providing a quality service to all my clients, no matter their financial situation. <laughs> I'll cut you a break. You can have just one of these fine fruit you see before you, but choose wisely. For while the ripe fruit will bring you good health, the stale fruit will take it from you. Oh. You have chosen wisely. There you go. <laughs> Quite an item that needs further interaction. Open Tond Burt's inventory and right click the item to inspect it. Oh, fantastic. I want to eat it now. With me. With my face. Alright, well, what if I do this? What if I take my to do list and I show it? 
to them. So after some Medusa root, I see. Gun cost you. That yeah. stuff ain't cheap. I've got a dollar. <laughs> Ten gold coins. What? <laughs> Don't look like he's got the coin, boss. No. Hey, that's tough luck, kid. Maybe a good old fashioned potato will do the trick. <laughs> All right, let's. Uh, what's this assassin? Oh, it's like an Assassin's Creed thing. What did he say? I think his leg's broken. Oh no. All right. What about this gardener? Yes. Can you see I'm busy, kid? Uh, <laughs> clipping this is like clipping shrubs. <laughs> Soiled snake. Oh, okay. Uh, all right, so we're going to have a few pop culture references in here, are we? I get it. What's going on here? Oh, who's this? Blimey. You're all right, mate. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I'll take that nonsensical mumble as a no. I'm afraid we're all out of the boil remedy. <laughs> Could I tempt you with a rather large hat? Comes with a dash and pink bow. Oh, that is tempting. <laughs> I'll give it to you for just 30 coins. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I don't have 30 coins. Quite a steal, ain't it? <laughs> I bid you farewell. <laughs> Alright, well look, this is probably the most organic spot to have a bit of a break. This is a very cool game. I'm liking it so far, but it's still early days, so we haven't really seen where the puzzles sort of go. Again, I'm drawing comparisons with Neon C only because I'm currently playing that at the moment and that's also a point and click but that's frustrating me a bit with its obtuse puzzles whereas this seems a lot lighter on the puzzles a lot heavier on the humor a lot of it seems to be hitting which is cool I'm I do not enjoy sort of pop culture references I like I'm not trying to be a prude I just I don't, know, I don't find that funny you've got an Assassin's Creed dude and you got a, a snake surrogate and I'm sort of like Oh yeah, whatever. But some of the other things that they've been saying has been legitimately hilarious, actually. So, oh, I'm actually really enjoying this. So, so thanks again for joining me, guys. We might just leave it there for the time being, and we'll pick back up on the next one.